This week on Cars and Things Restos, we've got another unboxing, we've got another gift from a Toto. Back to Cars and Things Rest Days. Alrighty, getting close to summer nats now. Um, we're only a week away from Christmas. Uh, and uh, after that, full steam ahead, getting all these cars prepped. Um, rightio, so Toto has sent us another little gift. Let's pull it out here. In dash audio video and navigation what is an s8 pro new let's have a look let's open it up what have we got in here plenty of cords and cables and whatnot Okay. Here it is. So it's a double DIN unit. Uh, with a, an external screen I think you know, I think it's a 10 inch screen it might be an 8 inch screen maybe that's why it says S8 I can't remember now uh, what they said they were going to send us but I said I wanted something for the Stato so we're going to put it in the Stato uh, which it has already got a double din unit in it at the moment um, it's an older type one I think it was a well, let me have a look here this one here uh, well, what is this? A Kenwood system. Uh, that plays DVDs, that one. But we're going to pull that out of there and we're going to see if this one will fit in. Hopefully, the screen doesn't hit that shifter. Um, anyway, we'll put it in there and see how it looks, eh? That's the go. Let's have a bit more of a look at the system. There it is. It's a lot like Dave's. We put in the uh, tunner. So, Let's, uh, let's see if we can make it work. Let's see if we can make it fit into this data. Alrighty guys, so just running a few cables, took the old unit out, was just pushed in there anyway. So what I've done is I've still got these wiring uh, adapters here for the speakers and power. So I've just adapted them to the Ototo system, so I can just plug them straight in. Uh, these are our Wi-Fi antennas and 4G antenna, and this is our microphone. I'm going to try and bring the microphone down behind here get it um, if I can drop it down behind that I'm going to have to get a, bit, got a bit of wire there so I'll run the microphone down here and it'll just sit there on the trim alrighty, I'll keep getting stuck into it
Okay, here we are. It's all fitted up. I'm just going to put a bit of trim back, clean up all that them shavings. Um, let's turn the key on and see if it works. Uh, well, area went up. Got lights. There it's going down, back up. Let's get no, I got light. Oh, there we go. There we go. I don't know if it will work just on accessories. Yep, it does. You beauty. So I don't need all the fuel pumps and everything going. So there you go. She's in. And I've just got tied up a bit of wiring. And we'll hook the phone to it. And um, I can also hook the internet now because I've got internet here into the shed. Um, i just got to work out how it all works. All right, success, you beauty. Okay, so I uh, got it all hooked up. That's what I did with the um, the USB ports inside the uh, ashtray. So we can just push that away and, and hide it. Um, radio works, it's a bit scratchy because they're in the shed. So we won't be able to play this too long because they'll give me a copyright. That's working fine. Turn that off. Um, YouTube was working. It's just um, it's a little bit slow out here because it's in the shed. If I pulled it outside, it'd probably be okay. Um, not a bad screen. It's pretty comes up pretty nice. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, what else have we got here? Um, it's got Play Store. It's got Maps. Uh, actually. Um, I actually had it hooked into my phone, so because I'm uh, uh, videoing, I uh, can't show you that. Um, so what I might have to do is I might have to uh, grab another camera and uh, redo this or show you a bit more. So uh, that's the car link. I hook into that with my phone through this cable, through the USB port, um, and it gives us all the stuff we need to do. Um, so even got the uh, talk. Uh, OBD connector uh, app to it, which I do have that, and it's on my phone as well, um, which uh, it's not going to help on this car because uh, we don't have an OBD2 connector, but it would work on uh, any other car. Uh, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, tire pressure and monitoring system, we don't have that on this, uh, so that won't, won't be applicable. Um, video play, I think what I can do is I can plug a, a, a USB video in like a, a hard top and we can play files off it um, there's a fair bit of stuff on it um, it's a it's pretty good I'm pretty happy with it um, uh, they will it will have Apple CarPlay as well um, but mine's Android phone so we go through and we hook it up through that there um, all good though uh, okay, okay so I did notice that you have to go in and turn this on, the uh, connection to the Wi-Fi. And if you turn the car off and back on again, it turns it off and you've got to manually turn it back on. Uh, some people say it's a pain in the butt, but it is a really good safety device so you're not draining data out of your phone or whatever all the time. So you know when it's on or off. Um, let's put this on, see if it'll play this. It's a bit, I don't know if it's the internet or what, it looks a little bit grainy, doesn't look as good as on me when it's on my iPad. I'm just not sure it's because the, whether it's the internet or what, but it's not as perfect as an iPad. But pretty good. Who's that clown? Geez, you can talk, I know that. Alrighty, there we go. Uh, so, if you haven't watched this episode, jump on there and go and watch it because uh, we just put that up the other night.
before I can put that in. Um, what else? Let's go out of there. Um, we've got chrome. I don't know well, what we can do with that. Um, that's about it, guys. Well, there we go. So, we've got it all working. Radio works. Everything's working. When I hooked the phone in, the maps and everything worked a whole lot. It's a very nice little unit. Very happy with it. Let me turn that off. Um, so that's the uh, the Ototo S8 Pro Gen 2. Um, it's the top of the range of their um, system. It's very, very nice. It's As you can see, it sits out a little bit from there. But you know what? That's how they are. That's how they all sit. It it doesn't look out of place. I reckon it looks really neat. It it's um it's not too close to the the gear knob. Uh, you can change the angle on that of it. I, l I actually like it like that. Um, there you go. So, Ototo, thank you for supplying us that for the Stato. Um, so if you guys are heading to Summer Nats and you want to check it out, come up and see us and we'll show you the unit. Uh, and get over to uh, toto.com, check out their gear, get on there and uh, you can buy them off them, you can get them off eBay, uh, there's, uh, they, you can get them anywhere. Um, I reckon even if you contacted me, I'd be able to get you one. Um, but there it is, Toto, thank you again, thank you everybody coming along and watching, uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed, please jump on and subscribe, hit the bell, share it with your friends and we'll see you next time. I Actually, I will put a link up uh, on this uh, video to Atoto, so you can go and check out Atoto and uh, get their stuff off, uh, off them. Alrighty, well thanks again for coming along and watching, we'll see you later. Cheers!